hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to have you guys back here i'm tessie of victorian ribbons and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodice so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click on the subscribe button it's so free to do so and also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that each time i post a new video you'll be among the first to know by the way i'll be posting videos on wednesdays and saturdays so if you're ready let's get to work as you can see i've already marked the shoulder line the bust point line the waistline and the hip line so i'm going to just show you how i got this i measured from the shoulder line to the bust point line and i measured 10. this is the shoulder to bust point measurement i also measured from the shoulder to waist and i got 15. this is the shoulder to waist measurement i also measured from the shoulder to the hip line and this was 23. this is actually our body's length this is 23 so the next thing i went on to do is that i marked my neck line and my neckline is three inches by three inches this is the standard in drafting a basic body the neckline is three inches by three inches and then i'm just going to connect these two points using my curve i'll be doing a round neck but you can do whatever shape of neck you want to do i just chose to do a round neck for the purpose of this video so the next measurement we are going to mark now is our shoulder measurement. Our shoulder measurement by the way is 14 and we are going to divide this measurement by 2 and this gave me 7. So I'm going to mark 7 on that shoulder line. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down by 1 inch and I'm going to mark 1 inch like this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this point to the neckline with a ruler. And this is our shoulder slant. This is important because the human shoulder is not straight. It is slanted. So we're just going to slant it by one inch. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to draw our armhole line. And to help us do this, we're going to divide the post by six. And then we're going to add 1.5. And we're going to mark this point here. This gave us 7.5. I'm going to mark the 7.5 there. And then we're going to use a ruler to connect it. Dividing our post by 6 plus 1.5 gave us 7.5 which we are going to mark this is the line we're marking now so underneath this line i'm going to draw a line this is called the chest line so i'm just going to mark this line and then i'm going to call it ch chest line so that it will be easy for you to understand so this is the chest line so the next thing i'm going to do now is that i'm going to divide the nipple to nipple measurement which is eight by two and this is four and i'm going to place that measurement on the post line the next place i'm going to place the same measurement of four is on the hip line so i'm going to use a ruler to connect these two points we are trying to form our front that so we use a ruler and connect these two points then on the bust point line starting from the bust point line we are going to come down by one inch so you use your tip measure to so measure one inch from the bust point line as you can see me doing and you also measure from the hip line upwards you're going to measure two inches Next, on the waistline, we're going to measure half inch on both sides of this line. Half inch on this side and half inch on the other side. Then we're going to take a ruler and connect these four points. This is going to form our dart. So as you can see, our dart is formed by connecting these four points. So 
so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to on the chest line we're going to take our bust measurement which is 36 and divide it by 4 and it's going to give us 9 and then we're going to mark that 9 on the chest line next on the waistline we're going to divide our waist measurement by 4 also our waist measurement is 20 it's divided by 4 it's going to give us 7 but we're not going to mark 7 we're going to add the 1 inch which we took for the dart you remember we took half inch on both sides at the dart area so we're going to add that 1 inch and it's going to give us 8 so we've marked 8 on the waistline next on the hip line we're going to divide our hip measurements by 4 also and then we're going to place the measurements we get on the hip line Okay, so we're going to connect these three points using a ruler. Okay, so we've connected these points. We can see our bodies is gradually taking shape. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to find the midpoint of this our armhole line. When we find the midpoint of this armhole line, we're going to come in by three quarter of an inch. That is 0.75. And you can see we marked it. Then we're going to from the top of this line to this point we just marked. We're going to connect it with a ruler. Going to connect it with the ruler just like this. Then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to connect this line to the chest line using our curve. So we've connected this using our curve. So next we're also going to connect our back arm. This is our front arm hole, by the way. We're going to connect our back arm hole to the chest line also. next thing we are going to do is that we are going to mark the back neck and we're just going to come down by one inch on the shoulder line and then we're going to connect this with our cuff just like this okay so now we're going to add one inch allowance each on the chest line on the waist line and on the hip line one inch allowance on the chest line one inch allowance on the waist line and one inch allowance on the hip line and then we're going to connect these three lines using these three points using broken lines and this is just to indicate that this line is an allowance line so next thing we're going to do is that also on that shoulder slant we're also going to add allowance of half of an inch measure half of an inch on this allowance line and then we're also going to mark it with broken lines just to indicate that it's allowance Okay, so we're going to mark the allowance with broken lines like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is that we're going to add allowance to the bottom of the hip line. We're going to add allowance of one inch and I'm also going to mark this with broken lines
okay great now so we're going to find the midpoint between the chest line and the waistline like this and then we're going to place a point in between this line these two lines this is to help us form our side darts so we're going to connect this line now to the bust point like this with our ruler okay so now we are going to mark one inch from the bust point We are also going to mark half inch on both sides of this line. Then we are going to connect these three points we just marked using our ruler like this. okay and this forms our side that so we have our front that and our side that so we're going to just cut out our back neck and our back armhole and after this i'm going to show you the difference the basic difference between the front bodies and the back bodies there's no much difference so i'm just going to show you the difference now but first let's cut our our back armhole I'm going to cut out our back armhole. Then I'm going to flip it and show you what our back armhole looks like, basically. Our back bodies looks like. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the basic difference between our front and back armhole is that we have the zip allowance of two inches. Then we we started our darts from the chest line. From the chest line one inch from the chest line not from the bust line as we did in the front bodies and then we can see the arm the neckline was one inch and then we can see the difference in armhole now we're going to cut out our front armhole so that you can see our completed front bodies and then we're going to the front neckline rather and then the front armhole cutting out the front armhole as you can see Okay, and we have our bodies completed. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.